Hello and welcome to Scotland. We have finally arrived after uh, the travel. Um, it's been a it was a rather uneventful journey, wasn't it, Jenny? Apart from the uh, lady it was. talking we, we really, heard, really quite loud. Yeah, it, yeah. We, we heard information that we would rather not have heard, but yeah. it was understandable. Yeah. In the context, but we won't go into it. Yeah. So we've just settled in. We're about to go out and have a wander down Grass Market. Let's show you Grass Market because Grass Market is one of the places of Edinburgh. Um, lots of restaurants and bars. And we're in our little bijou, as Jane put it, accommodation. Sort of. The bed looks a bit short for a six foot bloke, but we'll deal with that later, <laughs> actually. But we've got a telly, sockets, wardrobe. Um, bathroom and shower and a nice little kitchen and it's okay it's good and we're obviously here for a while so we'll get sorted out Do you want to just carry on? We'll carry on and walk up to the side. So this is Mr. Wood's fossils. This is perfect for any paleontologist or little boy who likes dinosaurs. Yeah. Ah. ah, the hat shop. I always liked this shop, but the prices are... Oh, that's fantastic. The music one. The music hat. They're a bit pricey. 20... 20 35 quid for a straw hat. Although some of the flat caps are nice. We need to have a trip in, Jay. Yeah, I'll definitely. Yeah. So it's the end of the first day. We've just been out on a little uh, walk and um, we were, we then went off and were looking for, well, was it one of our favourite career houses? It in, was. It yeah, was called the Red Fort. The Red Fort. Uh, we had there quite a few times. In fact, we've, the 2019 uh we actually filmed a review in there, didn't we? We did. Oh, right, yeah. Several. Um, halfway through, <laughs> yeah, several. But I remember halfway through the curry, uh, halfway through the review, the curry turned up, <laughs> which was quite fun. Anyway, it's now changed hands completely, and we were a bit reticent about going in at first. Uh, but it's now called Salty, and we did go in, and they've completely redecorated the place. Uh, it's really, really modern and nice i mean well it was always okay wasn't it? it was yeah we got chatting to um the girl that served um served us and she was saying that in fact it had reopened last year and then of course had to close again yeah. so uh, which was a bit of a shame but anyway but they're, they're, they're going strong yep yeah, yeah lots of bookings and yeah. lots of people walking in just off the yeah. street like we did I mean, what we would say, I mean, well, we're recommending it because we're actually, we are going to go back. Um, no, it's great. Uh, you're actually better to book. And I will put links to their, they've got a website and on on their website, because I had a quick look, um, you can, they, they do takeaways and all that if you're living in Edinburgh, but actually the you're better off to book. Um, purely and simply because some people came in, uh, we were lucky, we, we literally, we, we you know, we were straight in, weren't we? And the people after us were straight in. But then it did start to fill up and one couple turned up and the only place they could sit 
was right at the front on a very small table. They didn't have anywhere else for them. So you are actually better to book. And in fact, when we go back, and we're going to, we, we, like Jane said, we were talking to them and they were quite impressed that we were actually doing this. Uh, we didn't tell them we were going to do a review of the, of, of the, the actual place, but, um, but we're actually going to go and film and actually film from hopefully one of the booths, which is where we used to film before, because it's a bit quieter in the booths than the main part of the restaurant. Um, absolutely superb. Um, I had lamb chops. Um, tandoori, tan the tandoori lamb chop sizzler. It was. It was. Yeah, and I had a chicken bolti, which was extremely nice. And a couple of plain nans and some poppadoms. Uh, it was really, really good. Um, so we highly recommend it. If you come into Edinburgh Fringe uh, and you like a good, good curry, it was a good curry. The, the, I was lucky because where I was sat, I, I was sat opposite the bar. And all the way through the meal, I was able to watch the barman make these incredible cocktails. One of them, and I wish I'd had got my camera out and taken a little bit of film, but that was before we actually spoke to him about whether we could film in there. And it was like, it, it looked like a, an orange type cocktail, but it had lights inside it. It was, it was and because I, I pointed it out to you and you turned around and looked at it. It was absolutely incredible. And the amount of detail and effort that went into making these cocktails, and I'm sure it's the same with the food really, because the food was great. Yeah, you well, know. I didn't witness any of it except this finished cocktail Same. yeah on the bar and like Ian said it was <laughs> there were lights inside it and they were flashing and that I anyway I'm speechless I have no idea how you do that but interestingly we were then aware of how many people were actually ordering cocktails yeah so, so it, it's obviously one of their it's got things. a bit of a reputation I think for it yeah staff are lovely everybody was lovely mm. Um, and the food came really pretty quickly, didn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it's great. So it is a high, highly recommended. They are also doing. Um, I think the, what what happens is if you go and eat there once, they will then give you one of these, which is a voucher for a, uh, an invitation to dine fifty percent off. So you get that on the, if you. So that's the second meal you have there, really. Mm. But we are going to go back and we're going to use our fifteen percent off. Um, but absolutely fantastic. Okay, great. And we'll see you tomorrow. For, we're actually doing our first proper uh, shows tomorrow. So we've got two shows definitely booked. They're late in the afternoon uh, and into the evening. Um, we've got some issues with... Jane's been allocated some tickets and I haven't, but we're, we're going to unsort that out, aren't we? Well, I don't quite know that one, because actually they've sent them to Jane's email address. And it was me that requested the tickets from my email address. So we don't know how that happened, but we're going to go and talk to the fringe guys and see what what, weird. what happened there. You know, because there were shows that we both we had both due to see, but currently Jane's going to loads of shows, and I'm not going to that many. Well, hey, but that's <laughs> so Jane will be doing all the reviews, and I'm going to go and sit in the well, I can't sit in the pub, can I? Because I can't drink. Anyway, okay, all right. So we'll see you see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye bye.